You may never have been to a brothel, you may never want to go to a brothel. But have you ever wondered what goes on inside a brothel? Of course you have. Come this way. This is where it all starts. This is reception, this is your first port of call, and this is your receptionist, Amy. Hi. Hi. What's the first thing a guy says to you when he comes in? Most people's first reaction is, I've never been here before, what happens, how does it work? So as receptionist, I go through all the pricing with the customer, explain how it works, that we're set up like a lounge downstairs, so that they meet to mingle with the ladies, and that their time starts when they get upstairs. So what do you get for your money? Half hours of $60 house fee, $60 lady fee, so it's $120. 45 minutes is 80 to the house, 80 to the lady, so it's $160. And for one hour, it's 100 to the house, 100 to the lady, a total of $200. Both three services include full body contact massage, oral and sex. Once and a half hour, try twice in 45 minutes an hour is time to miss. And usually with the hour, you can have a luxury spa bath with your lady. So we're just coming from the reception area through to the bar, and this is our hostess for this evening, Hi. Kim. So Kim, what's the procedure when a gentleman comes here? Well, basically, I sort of hold his hand the whole way through. I give him a tour of the place, I ask him if he's been here before. If not, I show him all the way through and I introduce him to each lady as we go. So describe your job to me. Uh, basically I'm the communications link between the ladies, the clients, reception and management. So you sort of just keep things moving, I'm like the lubricant. Right, I got you. <laughs> so what happens if a woman comes in, for example? Okay, if a woman comes in, usually a woman will come in with a man, so we'll have couples. Um, on my shift, I prefer to take them straight up to a room and do a private introduction. But if not, they'll come in here and we'll have the ladies come who do couples. Not all girls will actually see couples, so it's very important. So it works the same, they're a client. Next to the bar, there's an entertainment area with a pool table and video games. But somehow, I think it's the games that are played upstairs that are most popular. The girls entertain about seven or eight men per shift in rooms that resemble upmarket hotel suites, complete with shower. And in one of them, I met one of the working girls, Kelly. So what's the procedure when a guy comes up here? Well, we come in, I close the door. Um, he hands me the other half of the money that he has to give me upstairs. He jumps in the shower. Before he jumps in, I check for, you know, anything. <laughs> for STDs? Yes, I check them when they're getting into the shower. Was that a difficult thing to do at the beginning? Yeah, it was sort of like... Excuse me, can I have a look? And they sort of say, well, you know, I haven't got anything, but I mean, they've got to understand that we've got to make sure for ourselves as well, yeah. Then we sort of hop on the bed and I just start with a gentle massage and then sort of, yeah, everything happens from there. So all the guys have to wear condoms? Yes, definitely. Do you have a trouble with them refusing to? Um, occasionally, but sort of, they get the picture. If they don't put it on, they don't get it. <laughs> right. All businesses have areas that the clients and customers don't get to see, and the brothel is no different. Next door to the bedrooms is the girls' room. So what goes on here? Okay, here's basically where we talk and catch up and chat, do our makeup, yeah, and relax. Yeah. What's this board? Okay, this is our <laughs> <laughs> this is our ask for boards. So the most ask for's or extensions that you get per week. It's more of an ambition thing they have going. What's your name? Actually, 17, so that means you have 17 regulars mm -hmm. in a week. Or 17 extensions or probably a bit of both, yeah. In another part of the room, the girls keep their assortment of costumes, from the French maid to the nurse's uniform. Dressing up, it seems, is just as important as undressing for some of the clients. So, what are your clients like? Um, you can get an assortment of clients. Um, some of them can be really nice, but then some of them can be really rude. What would a rude one be like? Um, it's just the way they treat you, I suppose. Um, mm. They sort of well, virtually treat you like dirt, some of them. Have you been pretty hardened to that now? Yeah, I sort of, when I walk in the room, I'm in control yeah. and I let them know that. So do you find that you've sort of separated yourself as an emotional person to yourself as a body? Well, you have to. That's the only way you sort of survive in this industry. Why did you get into it? Um, Oh, I suppose the money. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you make? <laughs> Average is between 1500 to 2000 a week. Clear. Do you ever get bored? <laughs> um, oh, I'd be lying if I said yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, honestly, 
I sort of like, in my bookings, I sort of like to put my whole effort into it. Yeah. And there's, there is days when you think, oh God, do I really have to do this? <laughs> so what do you think about when you're having sex when you're not into it? Oh, you think about, well, okay. Well, I have to get it shopping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever orgasm when you're having sex with clients? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many a day? Um, it can depend on the clientele that come in. If you get someone who you really get into it with, you can actually really enjoy it. And when the time comes to leave, believe it or not, there is a secret exit designed so you can make your escape without bumping into anyone you know. Good afternoon. Cut and blow dry? Great, come through. when my ex became my ex. Definitely something that's been a secret and kept a secret. When I used to cut this guy's hair for a